Building a Shopify store is a process, but don't worry because today I'm walking you through step-by-step -step what it takes to start your store from the initial setup and sign up with the Shopify account that you create to actually getting your product out there and into the hands of your customers. Hello everyone, I'm Christina Scalera and I help you turn your ideas and your services into digital download products that sell on demand day or night. I'm going to go ahead and flip my screen around. I'll see you on the back end of what it looks like to set up your Shopify store. All I've done so far is log in. And if you are on the free trial, you won't experience the screen. But if you haven't, no worries. Go ahead and pick your plan. I would start with the most basic plan just because it's the easiest and cheapest one to get started with. And you really don't need those premium features if you're not selling a ton yet. Once I've paid for my plan and I'm inside, this is the screen that I will see. So I'm just gonna go through here and I'm going to fill out all of these details so that everything is correct and ready to go, especially when it comes to my products, the payment methods I'm going to accept, such as activating Shopify payments. Look at how easy this is. <laughs> I'm going to connect my domain. I'm gonna do all of this good stuff in the settings here, just basically trying to go through and click everything that I possibly can. And please note that if your settings menu looks a little bit different, that's totally normal. Shopify does go through and update this pretty regularly. And you'll wanna go through about once a year to just check and make sure that the, these fields and these settings are all still up to date for you. And Shopify has this really nifty setup guide here. So all I'm gonna be doing is going through and customizing the theme. If you already have a theme picked out, it's super easy to get started. If not, no worries. Shopify has tons of theme options. Some of them are completely free and that is more than enough to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and explore the free themes. I'll just pick the one that appeals to me and it will be automatically installed on my store. If I want something more custom, I can go to the Shopify theme store and I can browse the themes that are available. To be honest, free works for me and I really like that as I'm getting started with any kind of store. Next, I'm going to come and I'm going to add the pages that I wish to add to my site. So for example, on this site, I know I'm going to want a contact page. I'll want an about page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that about page. I just inserted this image. I can insert a bunch of text here and obviously I'm going to go through and format this so that it is actually beautiful and not just this randomness that I've put on here just to show you guys how this works. But this is something that I'll take time to edit and make beautiful and add little blocks of text, some graphics, maybe some textual graphics, you know, like the, the graphics that have the text overlaid on top of them. I'll show you an example of what that looks like in just a second. But basically that's all I'm gonna have to do to create a page. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save and then I can view it when it's live. Next, I'm just going back home and I'm going through the setup guide. I'm gonna organize my navigation. Obviously, I only have a few pages on my site, but I wanna make sure that my footer has everything that I need. I might add my terms and conditions and privacy policy here. If you need a good one of those, I've linked that below. And I'm gonna add anything else, maybe my contact page. It's super easy to add this. All I have to do is type in the name of the page that I wish to be here, and then I'm going to pick which page that is. And I can pick contact, contact, great, add. And now my contact page is linked in my footer. I'm just gonna hit save menu. Once again, I'm gonna go back to the home page. make sure that my domain is set up. I always buy my domains from Namecheap, which they have lots of tutorials on how to connect to your domain. It's a really quick and easy setup, so I'm not gonna go through that here. And I'm finally, I'm just going to make sure that that payment is set up because when I clicked this earlier, I just had to type in some sensitive information. So I'm not going to film that on video, but I can promise you it's really easy to set up because Shopify wants to see you succeed. They want to see you up and selling because once Shopify payments is set up, they're taking a little tiny cut of that. And as I have time, I'm always going to keep coming back here and customizing my pages and my theme. So I'm going to start with the bare minimum, the bare minimum products, pages, theme, etc. And then I'm going to continuously add to it 
over time so that I can make it more and more beautiful every single week. It's gonna start out kind of ugly. It's gonna start out kind of rough unless you hire someone to install the theme and customize it for you. The agency I use for this is called EtherCycle. It was co-founded by Kurt Elster and he and his team have done all of the development work on my award-winning Shopify site, The Contract Shop. They've done everything from install and customize themes for us in a past life, and they also developed our custom theme that we're now running on the contract shop. Now let's look at the back end of a fully finished store. So this is my shop, the contract shop. You can see that up here in the corner. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through what this looks like. So we are running our own custom theme now. But if I wanted to go in, it would be the same type of thing that I just walked you through where I'm customizing all the different sections of my website. And as you can see, when I click on a section, I can customize that with the images and everything I need over here. And I can also change up the footer. As you can see, we have this nice custom footer here but most of you are gonna be starting out with a template and template is definitely the way to go because it means that you're not going to break anything. We also have our blog and the blog is so fun. This is where I put my title. I can go ahead and add any kind of thing that I want here. This editor should feel fairly familiar to you if you've used things like Word or Google Docs or something like that. And we've had a couple plugins here for our freebie. Then if I wanna see what this looks like, for example, I think this is heading three and then this is a paragraph. So when I come over here and I wanna look at this, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the paragraph text looks like paragraph text and the heading three text looks like that. I can also add pages to my site. So for example, we did the Lawless to Flawless Summit last fall. And so I was able to add this page to our site and you can see kind of what it would look like there, plus what it looks like in reality. Anytime you wanna add something, like if you have a page for your clients or if you have a page for your resources, your terms and conditions and privacy policy, you guys all have that, right? or your refund policy, whatever kind of page you wanna to add to your site, the pages is where you're gonna be able to do that. And of course your navigation is where you can change up those menus, either the footer or the main menu. That's it, it's pretty fun, pretty easy to customize. It is a little bit of a learning curve. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun customizing your own Shopify site. Now that you know what it looks like to get your shop set up, it's time to create some steady traffic so that you can start having those passive sales in your sleep that we talked about earlier. It is not a dream. It is a reality for myself and many of my clients. I wake up every day to hundreds of dollars worth of products that are already sold before I even have my morning coffee. Now that you know what it takes to get your shop up and running, there's a video that just popped up on your screen. You're gonna to wanna to watch that next because that's where I show you how to create that sustainable traffic to your online shop. And if you have a second, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all the other great content we have all about setting up your digital download product shop. Bye everyone.